Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So today, Menaphos was released. And with that came a new Slayer dungeon that has creatures from level 88 Slayer all the way to level 117 Slayer. So there is a lot of new content I can go and make loot videos on. So you can expect, like, rapid-fire loot videos this week. And there are so many, there's actually 12 new creatures that I'll probably be uploading two per day, starting tomorrow. So this is the first of the 12, and yeah, there are two new Slayer tasks called Corrupted Creatures and Soul Devourers. There are six creatures within each of these tasks, and you get to choose what to do inside this dungeon. The Devourers are the higher level ones deeper in the dungeon, Corrupted are the lower level ones. And the Corrupted Scorpions, as you can see, that I'm doing are the lowest level ones. We're going to be doing all of these creatures in order. Just keep in mind, this is the first of all of these loop videos, so I'm going to go over a lot of information that I won't re-say. So I will just refer you guys to this video, just to make it so those videos are a lot quicker. To kill anything in this dungeon, you actually have to have an item called Feathers of Ma'at, or however you say that. And you can get these out right outside of the dungeon for 1500 each, and you can buy 1000 per day. It's kind of a daily. You can obtain them from Shifting Tombs, or you can buy them from other players and the GE. So one feather means one kill in the dungeon, regardless of if you're on Slayer Task or not. It just it consumes one feather. So yeah, you do have to pay to kill these creatures, but I'm sure that these items may drop in the future if more and more come into the game, or they may rise. I'm not sure what'll happen. Another thing about this dungeon is that there is the treasure chest. Right when you walk in, there's a treasure chest. Now, you can have it set where all of the loot will go straight into that chest instead of on the ground. Now, there is a caveat to this. If you toggle it off and actually do take the drops from the ground, you have a 20% chance of doubling your drop, which is actually pretty cool. It means essentially you're going to make 20% more GP per kill if you manually pick up the stuff. But it is so convenient to not pick up stuff that you actually get faster kills per hour. So I don't really think it's any more beneficial to not use the chest. So I just recommend using the chest. It really would be worth using. So that means at the end of all these loot videos, I will be going to the chest and showing my loot. And the last thing you guys probably need to know about this dungeon is there is a corruption system. As you can see on my debuff bar, I have 25% corruption. While you're in here, you just naturally gain corruption. And what it means is every percentage point you have, you will deal that much more damage, but also receive that much more damage. Now that seems like a bad thing, but it's actually really good. You do so much more DPS with it, but on the creatures that damage you a lot, it can be a problem. There is a few ways to mitigate this. If you have the upgraded Slayer Helm, which we'll go over, that can reduce that, but that actually will lower your DPS. I don't know if it's toggleable though. You can also cleanse it with your feathers that you use to kill, but it probably will be a waste of feathers. And again, it increases your DPS. So it's actually really nice. Now for all of these kills, I did not do them on task. And for my rates, I was getting 600 kills per hour without aggression potions and 800 kills per hour with aggression potions. So you can tell that this video did not take that long, but we're going to take in the average of both of those just in case. And that will put it at about an hour and a half of how long this video took to kill 1000 scorpions. As for the rare drops, this is where being on task or not really matters. First of all, there is a unique drop called the Vital Sparks, which is used to make the new sigils, you need 1,000 of them. And their market is so volatile right now, I've seen their price from 100k all the way up to 400k. And they're actually quite common. You get them like every 100 kills or so, or so it seems. Maybe every 70. The sigils are actually really good, so I'd recommend checking them out if you're interested. Another kind of rare drop that they have is the key to the crossing. Now this is also available off task, just like the sparks. And what this will do is in two weeks, when the new Slayer boss is released, you can use this for a kill on that boss. Very similar to the Legions and the Ascension Keys. So all of the monsters in this dungeon have these rare drops, so they're going to be the same. I won't have to repeat this as much in the future videos, keep that in mind. But yeah, the keys actually sell for like well over 1 mil right now, and they're not super rare or anything. They are more common on task, I will say that. I did not receive any in these 1,000 kills. There's also another rare drop that I am almost certain that you have to be on task for, the Corrupted Gem, which can be combined with the Slayer Helm for 1,000 points as well, and it creates the Corrupted Slayer Helm, which increases the accuracy and damage of the original Helm, which is really good. The Gem has been selling for, like, well over 30 mil, uh, as far as I know. But again, I'm pretty sure you have to be on task. I did not receive it off task, and from the looks of it, everyone I've talked to was on task. But I could not get a J mod confirmation on this. 
There's also one extra rare drop that is kind of weird. I'm not sure if it's confirmed or anything. Just a lot of people on my stream were telling me it is a thing. These creatures can also drop the Soul Talisman, even off task apparently. And yes, that's exactly right. There is a Soul Altar in RuneScape now, finally. You have to do the Fight Club quest and have 90 invention. No one currently can do it yet as of the recording of this video because getting the reputation takes way too long and it's just there hasn't been enough time yet. So we'll find out in the next couple days probably what this all entails. But apparently the Soul Talisman is an untradeable drop from these Slayer creatures as well as maybe a drop from something else or while skilling or something to give you access to the Soul Altar. Again, I did not get this during this video, but maybe when I work on the future uh, monsters, I maybe will. Kind of cool drops, honestly. Now, because I mentioned the treasure chest earlier in the video, let's go and check my loot. So as you can see, we're at 2.7 mil in loot with the 1,000 kills, but this is kind of misleading because the Vital Sparks are very expensive. They are probably around 100 or so K, if not more. But again, like I said, they're very volatile. You never really know. But that's probably your, the bulk of your money. In this little, you know, interface, they're actually 2K because that's, that's the GE price, apparently. Uh, now, the logs that you're seeing are completely new. Those are corrupted magic logs. And those are essentially give you more experience while fletching, but don't give you any bows. So they just kind of go to nothing when you make the bow just for more experience. I guess it's probably to help the magic log market or something. And looking away from the loot, you can see the charms in the inventory. Uh, they're very okay. I mean, again, this is a thousand kills. So you can say that the crimson rate is probably 30%, which isn't horrible, but everything else is kind of meh. You could probably expect 200 to 250 crimsons an hour on these guys. So whatever, let's go and check out the loot when we sell it. And yeah, we are here, 3.9 mil. Yeah, the Vital Sparks sold for 120k each, not bad. So that contributed a lot of the money here. And like I said earlier in the video, you have to use feathers to kill these creatures. And that takes away 1.5 mil of this profit, which leaves me with 2.4 mil pure net profit. Ignoring supply costs, of course. So yeah, 2.4 mil. These kills took around 1.5 hours, if I didn't mention, which means that this video is 1.6 mil per hour. The thing about that, though, is it's consistent. That is consistent money per hour. You can expect this every single hour, assuming that vital sparks stay around 100k each. If you get a key, you're making a lot more. If you get a corrupted gem on task, you're making way more. So this monster is probably going to make a lot... Or actually, honestly, this whole Slayer dungeon is going to make a lot more money if you're on task and are lucky. So just keep that in mind. This Most of these loot videos you're going to see are just going to show you the consistent money, which will help uh, to kind of see the baseline. As for the experience, I got 457,000 magic, 150,000 HP. So not the greatest, but again, this took an hour and a half. So like 300k magic an hour, not bad. Um, but the Slayer experience, I do not know. I didn't kill them on task, obviously, and there's no information out there. I asked many people, no one was helping, so I do not know the Slayer rates at all, but let's say it is like 350 experience per kill. Let's just say that number. That would be like 270k an hour Slayer. You know, that wouldn't be even all that bad, because remember, this is the lowest level Slayer creature in the dungeon. It's probably going to get better and better. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Again, this is just a lot longer just because it's the first of the 12 loot videos. The other ones I will make a lot faster and more bite-sized. With that, guys, if you want to talk to me in-game, join my friends chat, Fat Nooblet. Also, check out my links in the description where you can find my Twitch, where I do my live streams. I actually streamed a lot of Menaphos, and it went really well. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream if you were there. I also have a Twitter where I update you guys on videos and such. I have a Patreon and a Discord server. Definitely recommend checking those things out. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.